what are the odds of a, a straight couple with a guy being bi curious that wants to explore? More often than you think. Really? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. A you lot, guys have been? A lot, yeah. You've yeah, been yeah. with a straight couple where the, the wife or girlfriend knows he likes both ways. Yeah. And they look for straight gay guys. Is this in like Greece or Italy? This is right here in Austin, Texas. The beautiful coast of Austin. <laughs> yeah. If you're listening to this, you are listening to our main feed. You know, if you guys want to listen to this feed without ads, go to Patreon. You have to listen to our Patreon. That's where we're talking shit. That's where you're hearing the real sex stories. You're getting our real life. If you want to have fun whatsoever, it's like five dollars, you stupid pigs. Just fucking sign up for it. That's so true. And also, thank you for signing up for it, and in a kind way. <laughs> or I don't care about it's kind or not, but if you guys, if everyone keeps signing, we'll put, post pictures of our dicks. Maybe. Uh, yep. That's maybe. I'll maybe. give it eight. And if it's actually, not fraud if, if, we, maybe. if we reach a hundred thousand followers on Patreon, I will show whole. If we get enough, if we we don't even have a hundred thousand people listening to the episode. But if we get there, we'll show whole. We'll Col we'll show Colton's hole. Yeah. And Dylan um, will take his shirt off. I will not take my shirt off unless I'm making millions of dollars. A hundred thousand yeah. subscribers is. Half a mil. Actually, that is true. If we're making that kind of money, the surgeries are already done. Okay. It's, <laughs> you know, please, I need, guys, I need my loose skin surgery. Please sign up for the Patreon. If you guys don't do this, I'm going to fucking kill myself. JK. That's so true. Just sign up for the Patreon. Yeah, we have a uh, two series on there. It's the Lost they Boys. Can find it there. No, but like, but oh, the Lost we're Boys. We're doing the Lost Boys series. So if you, bomb, if you bomb this, which you did not, you'll be on the main feed. The Lost Boys is everyone who's ever bombed this podcast. We put it up so you can watch them humiliate themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the gayest thing I've ever heard, dude. That's such cunty gay guy shit to do that. We're bullies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys are such little bullies. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, sign up. Thank you. Oh. So, um, this is bad. So, uh, this is bad. So, uh, this is bad. So, uh, this is bad. to drag out horse. No. We were in Denver for High Plains, and uh, and Colton was a little drunk, and we get to the. Do you care if I tell this? No. And we get to the. Um, it's just a crazy. I don't stand by it. It's like three o'clock in the morning. We're in the, we're getting snacks in the gas station, and you know we get in there. It's fine. And so Colton goes to get a beer, and the guy goes, "Oh no, it's closed." And so Colton's like, "Oh yeah, no problem." And then three minutes later, I just hear Colton yelling, "I'm not gonna put up with this homophobic shit." The guy I like working, that. like he pulled a card. Dude. Oh, a me, a me, and I was like, "Go outside." I was like, yeah. Go outside yeah. right now. He was like, "No, he." And then the was answer, he saying you, he's not serving you liquor because it clearly wasn't closed? Yeah. Or was it totally closed? Oh no, no it, was it was three a.m. Yeah, can't it was sell closed. It. Uh, yeah. But and then Colton started pretending that he understood the different language the guy was saying, which he cannot. And he was like, he was like, he's saying homophobic. Shit shit in his native tongue. He'll get outside. <laughs> get outside right now. Was You're he being... Indian? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I, yeah. I, he goes, I'm not going to put up with this Sikh homophobic bullshit. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you got to go. Yeah. Go Wait, are you. you saying that you don't think he was being homophobic? I'm saying Or that, that Colton couldn't prove it? Both. I, I don't think it matters. I think I, I think we were talking about the perceived embarrassment of trying to go get another drink and being told no like a child. Yeah. And you have to like pretend like, oh, yeah, I'm totally cool. And then making up he's being homophobic to get back at him yeah. is what happened. Yeah. When I first moved here, I didn't have a license for 30 days. Why? Because my yeah, I was living in New York, so I let oh, it expire. Gotcha. Yeah. Even before I went to New York, it was expired for like 10 years. So you have to <laughs> no show uh, residency for 30 days. So until I got a license... I couldn't drive, so I was taking Ubers with my girl for whatever, 30. It's like thousands of dollars. How do you get on a plane? Huh? Oh. I have a passport. Oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, He's not an animal. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a passport. I don't have a passport. I'm not, I didn't have a passport for a long time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that was the workaround. But yeah, I got carded like at a restaurant by like a fucking 18-year-old. Huh. She's like, do you have an ID? It was like at noon. I was at lunch getting trying to get a, a, a beer. Yeah. She said, we can't serve you. And I fucking lost my mind. <laughs> I lost my mind. What did you say? Probably. Why not? No, it was. It was. I just left. I was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" My girl's grabbing my knee. Yeah. Stop it. I was like, "Okay, is there a manager here? I could. I got real fucking gay. If you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there a manager here I could talk to? And they were like, "There's nothing we can do. It's just policy." I was like, "Look at me. Look at me. I get it. What, what do you think I'm doing? Yeah. I'm an illegal. Yeah. I'm trying to get one IPA at a fucking brunch spot." <laughs> What do you think I'm doing? Do? Light this place up? You only get it one? No, the point is, if you get me one, I'm going <laughs> to get six. <laughs> I, like, I get six, I'm going to call my drug dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the whole fucking thing. I, I, yeah, I'm not a one. I actually, it's crazy to me that people will order a beer and drink half of it and leave. Crazy. Like, I, I saw it and I was like, I didn't know what was happening. There was four of them. 
And I was like, there's no way. I know one person might do that, but four people yeah, drinking half a beer? I agree with you. That'll That's... stay with me the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If I see a table of people. That was a month ago. I'm still yeah. talking yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dave, I don't drink, but it, uh, if I think about drinking, I my first thought is like, oh, like, but my third drink. Like, I immediately right. go right there. And so, yeah, I don't understand that either. But I, to your point, I don't think people are ever down here or anywhere in the country are ready, ready to uh, experience someone from the East Coast yeah. so quickly. Like, because everyone's so polite and down here, and then all of a sudden you have that accent. And you're it's, like, what the fuck? And uh, people yeah. are like, oh, whoa. <laughs> well, she warns them a lot. Yeah. She'll say, even if I'm like, I'll say hello in an aggressive way. But I'm like, I'm very sweet. Yeah. I am yeah. a sweet guy. <laughs> but the way I come off yeah. is a little, you know, on the balls of my feet. Yeah. Right. And she's constantly like, he means he, it's good to meet you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? She's doing a lot of translations in chic, if you will. <laughs> in chic. <laughs> in chic. <laughs> Um, were, were you bullied a lot as a kid? Or you used to, yeah, I mean, like, by my brothers. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. bullied in public. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kid, I was fucking... You were like a man in public? Them. Yeah, I, I was a fucking them. athlete, dude. Were you well, an athlete? Yeah, I, play, I mean, through high school, and then I got a uh, scholarship to college for Whoa. baseball. Well, oh, okay. Didn't oh, end up playing. Not, I was hoping you were going to say a hotter sport, but um, baseball's but, not the hottest fucking guys. In yeah, no, for sure. Baseball what is one of the hottest about? sports. Is it? No, no, yeah. They're all around the hottest dudes. Yeah. Because they have the body, they have the attitude. Look, no. you, you they go, have the you, body and they have the attitude. Think about it. Look, football, the bodies are too, they're, they're enormous. They are big. They're not, uh, you can't really work with them. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, for sure. You can climb on them like a jungle gym, but they're not workable. Yeah, yeah. You can't bring them into a fucking Arby's without everybody looking at them. That's true. That also, I shit. guess they, you know, I'm sure in baseball they have left, like, don't have like brain injuries, so they're not like killing Bingo. their wives. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. So that's hot. They're the most even keeled. Lacrosse. The rich kids, privileged. They have hot looks. Yeah. Rugby. Nice asses. Yeah. Look, I've been doing my fucking research. <laughs> 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 Rowers, way too elongated, too stretched out. Yeah. But again, very wealthy, terrible personalities, bad people. Rowers. Like those Facebook Rowers. guys. So, yeah. so baseball is number one. But I say baseball. What about is, rugby? Uh, rugby. Yeah, but then you're talking about like fucking, they eat rocks and shit. They're fucking yeah. brutes. You know what I mean? I if you, you toss them a car key, they'd eat it by accident. They got too much head trauma. No, they don't have any head trauma. Oh, they don't? They don't. Rugby? Yeah, they don't hit smash heads. They, you they fucking do if yeah. they're good enough. No, no, no they smash it with what their you shoulder. It's a shoulder. Fucking, what? I used to play college? <laughs> <laughs> Go watch a rugby game, dude. That's, they're fucking animals. No, I, I played rugby. I know what oh, you're okay. talking about. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think rugby Cut is, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, rugby's the gayest sport, though. It could be. Yeah. It the scrum, be, that's what they call it, right? What does that mean? It's like when they all get together, I don't know, have a little orgy. Oh, yeah, they yeah, push, yeah. They kind of the push. push. So the push. Eagles do a <laughs> yeah. touch push. Was there any, any gay stuff happening in the locker rooms? No. I mean, I'm older. I'm 44, so, like, gay shit wasn't even cool. Right. I would it just wasn't cool yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it wasn't like, like you, you didn't know until, like, mid two thousands when you're like, I was just, oh, I knew it. Yeah, I yeah, knew yeah. that kid was gay. <laughs> but like you didn't he's always like, trying to suck me off <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing aggressive like that I mean and then I look back at like my priest and shit oh, whoa. where they were like clearly gay yeah uh -huh. it wasn't weird they didn't do anything weird but it's like they were obviously doing it to somebody gay guys <laughs> yeah. somebody. Yeah. Somebody. they don't pick athletes <laughs> yeah, yeah. they pick the weak yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they do they pick the fuck they pick the weak wait you're just getting it done you're like am I the weak one yeah. <laughs> no, no. you should if you've been fucked by a priest you are the weakest of the class oh god and also the like, predators cult. dude you gotta go after the fucking wounded elk yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I mean what's worse being like molested by a priest or and they have to like pull up their dress to stick it in you it's like that's really gotta be yeah. They, oh, they, you guys I don't think dress? they do it in they the dress. Gowns. Yeah, they got so sorry gowns. Dress. Yeah, long <laughs> dress, a shoulder dress. Yeah, could yeah. you imagine yeah. the priest is in like a short dress? Like, yeah, he, takes, yeah. he takes his gown off. He's got another dress. Yeah, yeah, like, three like, dresses. Yeah. He's like, hmm, that's just a, a gobstocker of cop. Yeah. Fuck, I fucked that up. <laughs> Gobstopper of cock. Gobstopper of cock. Yeah, he's got multiple layers, different colors to oh, get to the center. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. told you I fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, it would be great. It would be great. It's it is. I like that word I better. I took you on a also, visual fucking escapade. It's also kind of like kind of an onion too, if you think yeah, okay. about it. All right, so I was worse, watching but... SVU 2007, and you're exactly right. They didn't really have gay people in 2007. It's crazy. Oh, they were there. Oh my god, they I watched, were barely they were on always SVU. there. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Lurking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the time. Trying to get Tommy Poe. Yeah. <laughs> if I was gay now and I was exactly how I am, I'd be so. You would be the man. I know. <laughs> I know. No, I'm, I'd be fucking pissed at these gays today. Oh, the, I'm the younger and I'm gays. Pissed. Furious. Yeah. 
Like, you don't know what I fucking went through for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I hid the shadow so you could run. Yeah. Pussy. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think you'd be probably be like a Circuit G kind of gay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. think we'd be friends. What's that mean? You would be a monster if you were gay. <laughs> Why? Because you're hot and you have a good body and you wear little short shorts. You would be like doing math, getting fucked up the ass. You would been like, I don't really, think you would did you say math? Math. math. Oh. No, no. He, no this, he would be do, he'd be doing G. This is G. a G. Boy. Oh, yeah. G, G, G. What's G? GHB. Oh. Now, if yeah. you drink just a little bit, it feels like drunk. And, yeah, I've and there's had no it. calories. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you could still do it straight. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? What? What are you guys doing? Jerk off to myself. <laughs> <laughs> just beat off in the mirror. I wish you were gay. <laughs> Coke was my thing. Well, oh, yeah, 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 me too. That, yeah. that was it. Not anymore. I stopped. Yeah. How'd you stop? You just stopped? You get a girl that says, I'll leave you if you keep doing it. Yeah. That's usually, you need, you need to fight for something. Well, normally yeah. you start doing it in secret then. Yeah, I, I didn't, it was never in secret. Like I never, it was just I, doing what we do. You're on the road, someone's handing you something, you're like, fuck it. Yeah. It was mostly fentanyl. I'd say 80% fentanyl, 20% <laughs> my girlfriend that stopped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's like, yo, this is dangerous. I'm fucking just taking key bumps off I, strangers. It really is. You do, having a partner that you have to come home to and look in the face like these are the fucking choices I made tonight. Yeah, dude. We'll One million percent. Yeah. I've also stopped, like I slowed down drinking like immensely. Really? Yeah, I was like, my tolerance was crazy. Not knowing it. And then she's like, well, why don't you just calm down for a little while? Mm -hmm. My calming down is what people go hard on. And, <laughs> and then I was like, right. okay, I can probably do this. I started getting anxious about it. And now I'm like doing like a few seltzers a day. Yeah. You know, just like get it all out of my system. And then I'm going to go cold turkey for a couple of weeks. Yeah. See what happens. Now I'll go back to Coke. Yeah. yeah. Start blowing <laughs> priests. <laughs> Finding my face. Look at me blowing you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want this. I turn the table. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do Coke sober? You don't drink? I haven't uh, done Coke since I stopped drinking. Yeah, I stopped that's doing, all it is. I stopped doing Coke like um, uh, about a year before I stopped drinking when those LA comics died. And I was like, oh, yeah. I'm not doing this yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was, that was the latest one like eight years ago when like three people died out of yeah, five. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, I, I can't do this anymore. But I was I never bought Coke. I was more like people around me always had it, and I'd just go like, Oh, I've never done it. And then yeah. they always <laughs> and they always give it to you. They give you two. Yeah, they're like, Oh, you have to try it. People don't like doing Coke alone. Yeah. No, me, not me. Yeah. I'd always, I wouldn't share because I go, You you don't want just one. And I know if I give you this one, you're gonna come back and ask me for another one, and I'm not gonna give it to you. Oh, that's 100%. very. That's, I, like I had that. a half a bag, and Candace wanted to get it. I go, "There's not enough for two people. This is enough for one person." Yeah. <laughs> and I go, "I'm actually sad about how little I have right now." Oh, <laughs> if I had that little, I, I, no one would know I was on coke. You right. know what the best was is um, I have a lot of really beautiful girlfriends, and when we'd go out to bars together, they would kind of find the guys who have the coke, and right. then the guys are like, "Oh, take." They'd be like giving us the bag, go like, "You can take it to the bathroom," and then I'm in the girls' bathroom with them, or like doing their lines of coke, coming back out with like, "Here's your bag back." Yeah, like, it's it's just a <laughs> yeah they're like, morsel. "You guys want to hang out all night?" night we're like sure yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> having hot girlfriends really gets you a lot of free shit yeah i can't imagine that just anyone i me giving coke to anyone well straight men are desperate for pussy so they do oh. almost anything i would never no no have you ever been a beat off on a bus before giving a hot girl <laughs> my bag of coke? <laughs> beat off on a bus? Suck my dick, dude. I'll do whatever it takes. That fucking alliteration is perfect. I will God never. Stop her I'll cock. hide it. <laughs> I'll be a fucking poet. I fuck that one up. Stop bringing it up. <laughs> Would be great, dude. No, there's certain things that I hold dear to myself. I, you get in your late 20s, you're still chasing that, that hot ass, and you're just like, what? it never pans out. Yeah. And you get to you your 30s, you start slowing down. That's what I was gonna ask. Do you, now that you're getting a little bit older, do you find that the chase is a little bit less? Oh, I don't chase at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I stopped chasing in like 35. Really? Yeah, I would never like go out to, to uh, even in my 20s. I would never. If I saw a hot girl that was like clearly interested in me, you know how they do that? You know they'll they'll make you they'll give you cues. They know. Yeah, yeah. Come say hi. I don't do that shit. Yeah. I always like met them in a circle by chance, a friend of a friend. Mm -hmm. But Whatever you're dating easiest. right now, right? Huh? You're dating someone right yeah. now? Yeah. Uh, how long that been? has that been? It's been like two years. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I love this one. <laughs> this one, not the ones in the past. Right no, I love them. them. It, it, I love her differently. I think I'm very committed to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So have you ever done anything gay? I mean, this podcast. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have I ever done every, anything gay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Play the music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it gets added after. It gets added At least after. the law and order. Don't <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
No, I accidentally. Uh, yeah. Oh, accidentally. <laughs> that was, oh, dude, this <laughs> is an accident. I, know, isn't I, know. It? I, I fell in. No, I uh, I slept with a transsexual by accident. Okay. This was before we were talking about before gays were out. Mm -hmm. This 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 woman was ahead of her time. This oh. was like 2008. Okay. Nine, maybe ten. After a show in Philly. The streets are closed, and I'm walking home after a night of partying. Right. And no one's on the street, and I'm walking towards my hotel. Okay. And this hot girl's on the other side of the street, and she starts walking on. This is feel, like outside of Philly, you, you're aware of your surroundings. You know, there's no noise. Street lights are, uh, you know, random. Mm -hmm. So I'm my fucking whiskers are up. I see this girl. She starts crossing the street. I'm like, ah, fuck. It. And then she asked me for a light. And I'm like, this is not, there's no way a hot girl would cross the street to ask me for a light. So I was like, I don't smoke. And then she just stuck around talking to me. And I was like, ah, no offense, are you working? And then she was like, yeah. And I was like, I got nowhere to go. Like, I don't have money yeah. for that right now. I did have somewhere to go, but I'm like, ah, yeah. sorry. I'm just trying to keep my head down, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. She goes, I have a place. And takes me to a, uh, a closed, Dirty bookstore where the lights in the back are still on. A big security guard, she knocks on the door, a big security guard comes out of the fucking darkness, unlocks the door, we walk in. So this is clearly where all the street workers go. That is so, That's so cool. cool. Yeah, it's like I guess. Dirty Notting That's like Hill. The, a, a hippie, like trendy bookstore. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, and so we're passing like, candles in there. I've never noticed it before, but it's like nice. Like it's glass on the outside, you could see in. You see all the dirty films and shit, and then you walk to the back and they have the booths, like the jerk-off booths, with like the, the drywall, and then you walk into yeah. a booth, and you got that little screen to pop in money or whatever to play the the dirty. I've never been to a jerk-off no, booth. No, I have What? Neither yeah, no, I. it's scary. Wait, it's always, you're saying it's like a screen? I thought there was a person in the middle. Oh, no, no, that's a different thing. That's like when you go into a booth and you're around a dancer. Yeah. And then you put money in, and the screen comes up, and you watch that girl for a while. This and was you just have to put a movie. more money. No, so you yeah, you just walk in, and then there's a little TV, and you plop money in, and, and you can pick movies. Up. It's yeah. porn. Oh, it's like an iPad. Well, that's what all they had in like the '90s and early aughts. Okay. It was like oh, and so guys were going to the jerk off booth and just being like, I got to bust one out between. Yeah, so they had <laughs> jerk off booths like at like strip joints. Oh, okay. And a lot of dirty bookstores. But it wasn't touchscreen at the time. How no, you, how no, all buttons. Not? <laughs> 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 Just put a condom on your tongue. Yeah. Oh. Uh, a VHS oh. player comes out. You're like, here we go. <laughs> Pull out the cardboard. Pop. I got to get it to turn off before work. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we start hooking up. She's blowing me. I'm trying to put money into the to watch slot, porn to watch porn yeah oh. obviously <laughs> and the dollar <laughs> i love i love when guys want to get ahead and watch porn at the same time i think that's so cool yes yeah cool so street walker i'm not trying to fucking connect with her <laughs> <laughs> trying to get my fucking my bird it's funny that i didn't connect working i thought you thought she was gonna rob you but yeah. you were like no where are you from huh i'm an army brat the army brat yeah you don't have any street wise i don't <laughs> it's just the way you answered it. already answered my question. See, we go in there. I'm trying to fold a, a dollar bill in because now she's already huffing. So I'm getting all excited. <laughs> so she's already huffing down my cock. What do you want wow. me to do? I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. wriggling my dollar I'm bill. It's not working yet. Dollar's not going in. There's a coin slot. Dude, back to you. <laughs> hey, sugar, let me get my coins I mean, out one second. No, no. The back then, you still like Wait, 2008, shit. that's cargo pants. Were yeah, you keeping dude. it in yeah. your cargo <laughs> pants? Cargo pants are back. <laughs> so I'm popping quarters, and you can hear it rattle down the, the drywall. And that was my first inclination, like, this is not a real system here. Uh -oh. <laughs> so the whole thing was a facade. So the screen doesn't come on. I put, like, 75 cents, and I'm still pissed about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got coke, so we start doing drugs. And She's like, don't pay attention to the TV. I have drugs. Yeah, I'm drugs. <laughs> here, baby. Here, baby. Here, baby. Don't look up. There's a camera. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I do a bump. She turns around, grabs me, condom, obviously, puts me in, and I start. You know, we're having fun, and then I just felt a like a ball. Something felt something. Uh huh. Went nuts, and I like kind of like whoa. whoa, whoa. What the fuck? What what the fuck? You know, I didn't know what to say, what yeah. to do. 
didn't even think that was a possibility. And I was like, you fucking liar. Like, you know, I didn't know how to handle myself. Yeah. And she's like, I thought you knew. Like, knew what? Like, that's not a possibility. She put it in her butt. And you... Yeah, no shit. I know. <laughs> I know. You she... picking this up for me, bro? <laughs> 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 going, you yeah. got a pen and pencil for this ticket? Like this, but you, at zero point where you're like, yeah, of course she's put it it's in her dark. butt. Of course it's, it's dark. It's dark. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's dark as hell. You, you can't tell the difference. difference. You can feel I the can, difference. I can't, you gays. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is a working woman. It's not like a woman's asshole. Oh, I get... <laughs> It's a, it's oh, a like man's a asshole. asshole. Oh, yeah, of course. This thing's a fucking, yeah. It's like a hot dog in a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's stretched out. Okay. Oh, God. It's not like a... Uh -huh. And she's uh -huh. not going... Oh, don't, 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 like a regular straight guy. Uh -huh. situation. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just a slide. And so the, it ended there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's without... okay if it didn't, too. You are comfortable sharing that. No, nah, she blew me. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's always like, once I found out it didn't happen, yeah, I'm yeah, like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no more okay, that. Yeah. But, uh, hey, yeah, I'm already, yeah. Bro, we got all the way here. I put all my fucking quarters in, and yeah. now I'm leaving nothing. No, yeah. yeah. But I did text my friend, so we got about a half hour. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the gayest thing. But you didn't pay her. Oh, I paid her before, yeah. Oh, oh. I thought you said you didn't have any money. I was trying to avoid the whole situation. Oh, and then yeah. she said the right things, and I was like, God, she's I like that the right thing is, I have one place we could go. You go, yeah. oh, actually, my That's wallet. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just got paid. Yeah. <laughs> she, she said the secret word. <laughs> Jerk off booth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a used yeah. car salesman. <laughs> Why was it that it, it was a fake operation? It's just for a, a location all of street workers can go oh, instead of hotels. So if the cops came in, it's still legal or something. Well, I guess they uh, they had a system there that was so perfect because I've had sex workers come to hotels. Yeah. In my past. That's cool. Where like, and then hotel security figured out you uh, can't just walk in, hit up, and then go. Now you got to use a key card. So then they would have to call you and be like, "I'm here." You need to walk downstairs and take this little Russian fuck doll. Upstairs, and then she walks back out in her fake Louis Vuittons, you know? Yeah, story of my life. I'm always, like, messaging <laughs> with the guys being like, you have to come get me. The elevator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hug up in the hotel so often. They're always like, okay, I'm coming down. I'm like, I fucking hate that. Yeah. Is it the same hotels? There have been a couple. But do you think that the staff is like, he's back again? No, I hope not. No, they don't. <laughs> Most people, people working in hotels are, I think they know to be pretty discreet, and they also, like, they don't know who's fucking staying there. They can't remember if you, if a big hotel. Yeah, but they also know who's working. You yeah, know what I mean, you, it's like when you go to a steakhouse and you see a girl's clearly a hooker. Talking how can you next, tell? Huh? How can you tell? I don't know. It was a hot black girl dressed in fucking nothing talking to some fat white slob from Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's how I tell. Yeah. And he's still like eating steak. That's how I tell. his mouth open. <laughs> and she's like dipping a fucking... I a, a little onion into a cocktail. I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. He's got to walk her through a fucking department store, buy her something, so she sucks his weird dick. Oh yeah, so many guys do have weird dicks that people don't realize. It's, I don't think. What's the weirdest dick you've ever seen? Oh god, I've seen on a couple of micro dicks. Oh no. Yeah, and they lie. And they how tall? How small are we talking? No, no, micro. Like it's like just the head, basically. Like yeah. And they'll tell you. Hold on, hold on. I stop. Yeah. <laughs> I have fucking questions for both of you. All <laughs> right. This ain't gonna be a one-sided conversation. <laughs> so you're talking this? Yeah. From the front, the from whole thing. The stomach. This. Yeah. Outward. Yeah. And is it just a head? It's mostly just and like a teeny shaft. Oh my god. Yeah. And it gets. Is it hard? That's it. Hard. <sighs> And, and like, then just and like balls? huge balls, oh. <laughs> huge balls. <laughs> really? They'll have, they'll have like hanger balls and just like that small little micro dick. And you know what's crazy? A lot of those guys they still have their fucking bush growing out. I go, honey, you can't. You yeah. gotta like, shave the bush if you're gonna yeah. have this. This is crazy. It's like a peanut in a head. Do you have to? I mean, at that point, you could at least say, well, I mean, I have a fucking huge bush. That's why I look so small if I shaved it. It, it doesn't. Not that it looks small. It, it is, is small. small. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine too. But a lot of these guys, and I understand. I'm sure they've had like horrific lives with it. But they. <laughs> But they lie, and they'll be like, it's average. The truth is you need them to send you a picture of it before you get there. Would you go if it wasn't? If it if you knew it was a micropenis, you wouldn't go? No. So, I mean, so they're, they're they fucking nailing it. They, they, yeah. Well, they think that you'll, you will have, you'll be too polite to, once you get there, to not do anything. Right. And I have in the past done things, and then other times I go, I gotta go. How do you beat off a micropenis? Like, a little violent. You use your fingers? You can't use your hand, honey. I don't know why oh, it's wow. like the feeling I have is scared. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, do, are they like, do they make up for their inabilities in other places? You know what I mean? Um, no. No? Yeah, I'm sure they like, could. Like, they're not like great at oral. Cause well, so the thing about Colton and I is that we're not huge into getting our dick sucked. We more like to suck. Oh, so it's not that's not like a huge like unless the guy's really hot. I'm like you don't. I don't need you to suck. Up. Really? Yeah. So there's whole. Oh, there's a whole system. Wow. Yeah. I actually had the best thing happen to me in today on Instagram. What was that? Uh, so there's a guy at the gym that I stare at, but I'm too nervous to talk to. And sometimes he'll say things to me like. Hey, what color are your eyes? As like I'm walking past, I go, um, I think blue. Like and you're your, still scared to talk. Like to your them? shirt, and so and then I'll be like, I gotta go, because I, I was like, that was a stupid fucking thing. Every time he says something to me, I say the stupidest fucking thing. So he slipped slipped into my DMs today, and he wrote fuck, and he said, I'm currently playing fuck, marry or kill, and you're fuck. <laughs> oh whoa. Jesus Christ! And I just said, whenever you want. He said, free any time this week. I said Thursday goes Thursday at five. It is shortest fucking gays do it right, man. That's, that's perfect. perfect. I say it all the time. Gays do it right. Perfect. Yeah, it's all business transactions. It is business. It's yeah. Bu- yeah. It's yeah. He said the thing. I would said yes. <clears throat> we planned a time. That was it. I'm telling a joke right now. It's my newest joke. I just wrote last week, two weeks ago, that I wish I was gay. Yeah. Based on this. Yeah. Like gays take the friends out of friends with benefits. Oh, yeah, it's, all yeah. Benefits. <laughs> it's all benefits. It's benefits, benefits. That's benefits. great. It, yeah. it is all benefits. Yeah. yeah, and then you meet another couple and you bring them home. It's benefits of benefits of benefits of benefits. Yeah, there's no... And then you just, you know, ruin sheets, clap cheeks, and fucking start over the next day with no no dramatic issues. What are we? There's a wait, 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 Not even the next the day. The one thing in there, you said ruining sheets, clapping cheeks, yanking on meats. You're, are you tagging my joke? No, I, I was saying it needed to rhyme. You were doing so like all this wordplay, and I was like, "Come on, come on, put him in meats. Consider meats." How, how long have you been doing this with him? <laughs> you consider another a house? A year, a year and a half. <laughs> I didn't no, realize we were doing our set way, on stage. By the way, that was me DMing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when? Today? Dude, um, that's great. Five, also, 5 p.m. is such a strange... That's what I thought, too. It was super Are you early. Straight? Yeah, I'm straight. Yeah, that 5 p.m. is nuts. Why? I mean, you would imagine you, most up. people work 9 the to 5. Up. That means Honey, once I'm, he I'm clocks out. At 10 a.m., I'll open up Grinder and be like, let's see what's going on today. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. See, if there's any guys looking for a lunch break. Jesus Christ. It's really great. And then, it's, yeah. you, you know what's funny? It's like, you, and then you come, and you. it's not like... Wow, so but it's like you you like get come the fuck and out you get up and you go like, dude, like that was great. Slap their hand and walk out. The, Damn. the okay. kissing stopped once you come. It's you're like, yeah. great. Like yeah, we're strangers again. Dylan, yeah. this is what I want to know. How horrible can the apartment look if he's hot enough? Oh, I, I, I tenement horrible. building. You know that I basically got sexually assaulted by a hoarder once. What? No. Well, he was really hot, but I went over to his house and it was just like. Filled with shit. A really nice place, too. And he had, like, a ripped fucking body. I was still drinking at the time. And I was, like, I was already a little drunk. And then he, like, gave me a bottle. He's, like, I don't really drink. And so then I ended up drinking, like, almost his entire bottle of liquor. <laughs> and then I passed out in his bed. <laughs> and <laughs> pizza boxes <laughs> yeah oh literally the room was clean but everything else was like newspapers to the ceiling and i passed out in his bed and i woke up and he had gotten me hard and he had already <gasps> said he was sitting on top of it wait you passed out and he raped you yeah <laughs> but you woke up during the sexual assault yeah right. but it was like fine yeah <laughs> <laughs> Gays do it right. They're not bitching about getting sexually assaulted. They say, "Well, I deserved it. I drank too much." <laughs> I was like, "Well, I, I remember waking up and being like, well, he has a I good body." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Well, this isn't the best experience, but I did." He was like five nine and ripped, so it's like I easily could have just been like, "Get the fuck off me!" Um, so I just fucked him and left. That's great. That is great. Yeah, but don't do that, guys. Oh, yeah, but, no, no. Yeah. The first part's real Shut bad. <laughs> but wait, you walked into the clearly a hoarder's house, and you're like, we he was like, I'm work. moving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a paper boy from 30 yeah. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> wait, we were just talking about being a paper boy, that it was our dream job. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, did yeah. it with my brother once. Really? We wanted to be paper boys and be like 16 years old and like going off and like. It's suck, not what you think. Well, sucking off the dads, like throwing up uh, their things. Of course, then, there's yeah. a gay old man. <laughs> yeah. Of course, yeah. it can't be about delivering papers Why to American you? citizens so they can get news. It's always about blowing dads, <laughs> breaking up families. Gays don't do it right, maybe. <laughs> we don't bring. Um, gay men don't hey, bring up families. We have nothing to do with your okay. family. That is yeah. true. Nothing we, to do with your family. If your family. wife came to us and said, like, you sucked off my husband, I'd be like, honey, show me a picture. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. 
<laughs> was it 5 p.m. 5 p.m. on Thursday? <laughs> yeah, I don't That's know. That's great though. Congrats. No, I'm so excited. But he, I, he kept on saying we, so it is gonna be a threesome. With oh him. my <laughs> god! Yeah. And then I was like, all right. Well, now we have fires to me out, up. <laughs> get, I have to figure out the logistics because I was like, are you guys just gonna run train or like what's gonna happen? Yeah. So now you're asking these specifics. Oh yeah. It's a very apathetic way of saying like, are two people putting it in me? No, I'm not getting DP'd. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I just had a rip incident. I'm not going to rip again. <laughs> well, we also, it's nice to be able to just talk specific so that when you get there, you don't have to be like, this is what I like. You already know exactly what they like when it's you a get there. You give them the menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's and fucking you can order order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me start you off with some water. So yeah. right <laughs> you let me know if you want DP. I'll, I'll, I'll a little GHP. <laughs> yeah. I'll start you off with some GHP. <laughs> Be right back. Oh, nice. Have you ever done a threesome? Yeah, many times. Oh yeah, is that with two another guy? I've done two threesomes with two guys, one girl. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. We love that. Yeah. Didn't bring that up. <laughs> it's not like that. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not like touch? the fantasy you like. Do you guys touch? No. No. no, no. Not even like is a it, hand on the back. No. I hate this. See, you guys is are so it competitive? Well, I'm like truly straight, dude. Yeah. I don't. I'm not against what you guys do. <laughs> I'm envious. I'm is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> saying that you guys have to touch. I'm just saying it's like, come on, we're already here. We can hold hands for a second. Or at least, like, no, 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 no. See, you're 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 infiltrating the straight world because this is a fantasy of gays, right? Yeah. This is like the Diddy fantasy, where like the, you're the okay, biggest. Whoa, 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 no, not the whoa. Diddy fantasy. Let's Hold on, dude. This, <laughs> this is an empowerment for gays to take down a straight guy, right? I've heard this from gays. I not take down. Isn't it like the, 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 the more of a collab? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you know, bring them into your to your realm for the night, right? I think a lot of more got straight men are open to it, and I think if there wasn't so much pushback from society, they would participate more often. Uh, I think this is insane. I know. I think it's a little bit more than you think. I think the guys that you're speaking of that actually would do that are thinking about doing that so they're yeah, not oh yeah for sure they're not technically straight uh, i'm they're saying bi curious exactly yes if you want to be but i think a lot more of your friends are bi curious than you realize. oh i i, I <laughs> one million percent <laughs> agree with that yeah yeah but we're both open to hooking up in a threesome with a, uh, a straight couple yeah but if he's like we're not touching i'm like then why am i here yeah yeah yeah. so wait you would be i would have sex with a woman if, if there was like interaction with the guy yeah so he would have to be involved he could just suck his dick a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to fuck a pancake with him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, so I they don't would do have the pancake. pancake. I don't do the pancake. But how, what are the odds of a, a straight couple with a guy being bi curious that wants to explore? More often than you think. Really? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. A you guys lot, have been? A lot, yeah. You've yeah, been yeah. with a straight couple where the, the wife or girlfriend knows he likes both ways. Yeah. And they look for straight gay guys. Oh, is this in like Greece or Italy? Right here in Austin, Texas. Right here in Austin, that beautiful coast of Austin. <laughs> yeah. So go on Grinder and they'll be like, "Do you like? Are you into women?" Because my girlfriend wants to watch me get oh, okay. fucked. Okay. All right. So I, why go, they, I, don't, I don't. I don't want to fuck your. I'm not boyfriend. fucking a man in front of his wife. I've That's had this <laughs> asked for of me many times. Really? Many times. To fuck yeah. a man in front of his wife? Fuck his wife. Oh, uh, in front of his wife. And you haven't done that? <laughs> You're not listening? <laughs> uh, no, because I, I don't trust Men. what would happen. I don't care what he looks like, how big he is. Yeah. Size wise, not his cock. Well, <laughs> Guys, calm what down. if he was like, can I hide in the closet and no. like look at No, because that's the... where guns are put. <laughs> <laughs> All the fucking weapons are in closets. See, even <laughs> it would be the opposite. I'd be like, strip down, tie yourself against the wall. I'll make your wife come for the first time. <laughs> okay, so if he was wrapped up in the corner, you'd be okay yeah, with it? Yeah, tied up. If I could fucking handcuff him, which he'd probably get off yeah, like <laughs> yeah, I'm making that. this more hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the guy's like, oh, I got yeah. some ropes. <laughs> I got some ropes, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, these guys are sick, and I love that you're also scared of men. Now think of being scared of men and having to meet up with them. It's I'm scared really sc of what would transpire because there, I think every person has a breaking point. Yeah. So like, if you were in a relationship with a guy and you're like, "Look, we're not fucking anyone for a while," and then one of you were like, "Look, I met this guy. I think you're gonna love him," and then he might snap and be like, "I was committed to you for the last year because I want to make this work with no more of this shit." Same thing with with couples that want to explore if they're straight yeah it's like let's bring this guy in then he might just be watching me work his wife and lose his fucking mind yeah i mean i understand that that could happen have you ever heard of that actually happening 
No. I yeah. get more excited. I just imagine I'm not going to be the first fucking one. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm not going to be a stat. <laughs> right. It Because what be. if she howls and starts squirting all over the husband's face while he's tied up in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always afraid after my <laughs> sex ever. <laughs> I'm always afraid that after I make a guy come, because I'll, I'll, I, I interact with the straight guys on Grindr, and um, I'm always afraid that after they come, they're going to like fucking kill me. Yeah. yeah. That makes five, more so. sense than a cuck getting angry I agree yeah. the guy that's like gonna sign up for the cuck holding cause he wants one experience and he's, he's ashamed and wants to fucking murder you yeah yeah but that, why is that different than this, the, the guy person... going fine my wife has always wanted this I trust you and then watches her have fun and then realizes his the entire think... household is crumpled no, it's I think it's mostly the cuck that's asking for it yeah yeah, I, I don't. I <clears throat> in the in the experiences I have, he's, yeah. there's always there's a guy who just wants to sit in the corner and, and do off, co coke he's and do by curious, <laughs> or, or, or he almost just likes get, watching his wife get fucked. That's, usually it's that, and they like they want you to like say mean things about them, like oh you could never fuck your wife like this. Oh You're like a God. little yeah, See, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not into being a masculine. I would literally be like, look, what do you like to drink? I'll pay for your tab. I'm taking your wife upstairs. I'm gonna fuck her brains out. See, they might get well, out. They might get into that. I'll put too. my phone on, record it. You can have the tape. Yeah. Would you still do that now, even though you're getting kind of famous? Uh, no. Yeah. I can't. No. Yeah. I'm not getting kind of famous. Yeah. Famous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm, ki I'm committed. I'm kidding. <laughs> you're the man. I'm committed. I'm committed to this girl. Yeah, of course. I am. No, hey, we believe you. I mean, if you met You're me before, you'd be fucking very you, surprised. You were a sleazeball? No, I'm not a, I wasn't a sleazeball. I just worked my magic. <laughs> and what a sleazeball would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't work my business magic. card. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me. Let me work my magic. <laughs> no, no. I was just, you know, I fucking, You're I was cheater. in long-term relationships for a while, but then when I was single, it was nice. Yeah. Go out. Mm -hmm. No questions asked. Have fun. Yeah. Never just had like problems the gay with the life. Um, yeah, but they would, they would get nuts. Yeah, <laughs> this is the point of like wishing I was gay. The women, they 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 hold this like stance of look, I'm not looking for anything serious. You start having sex, you get calls at two a.m. You know, and you're like, this is great. Come on over, I'm free tonight. And then uh, that two a.m. turns into two p.m. And they're like, what are we doing today? And it's like, no, no, it used to be, what are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say, what are we? Okay, we are what we said. We fuck in the middle of the night when the when the moon's up. We don't hang out for brunch. I don't know you like that. I don't want that. You said you didn't want that. And then it turns into this big fucking, you know, this grenade with the pin out. And then eventually it explodes. There's no survivors. And you move on. And you go, this one's different. And it's like, dude, you get to an age where you go, I'm exhausted, dude. Yeah. I'm exhausted. I'm not chasing anything younger than 30. Like, that's crazy to me. Talking to someone younger than 30, even without, like, intention, mm -hmm. like now. Yeah. I talk to someone that's less than 30. I'm like, your child. You yeah. have a bird brain. Yeah. You're an insane person. And yeah. I hate all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I turn into an angry gay dude. Yeah, yeah. Like I undress, I'm like, what are you wearing? You suck. <laughs> <laughs> this color doesn't work for you. <laughs> Jesus. Have you ever uh, had a, a baby or an STD? I've had an STD, yeah. Which one? I got burned a bunch. Burnt? Yeah. Yeah, burned. Burned by life. Ah, uh, yeah. I just I've, didn't know I've because had... I, I described the feeling as burn as well. Well, you know, that, you know, when you're chlamydia, but I, I chlamydia ain't fucking ice water coming out of your bird. <laughs> 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 you know, the, the normals, of chlamydia, course. gonorrhea, gonorrhea. Yeah. I got the clap. You know, Is the clap chlamydia? chlamydia? Yeah. Yeah. And when I got that HPV. Everybody's got that. If you know what you're doing. It's the yeah. 90s, baby. Yeah, it's the 90s. <laughs> when you're ordering, when you're hooking up with prostitutes or when you did in the past or sex workers, are you like ordering them online? I know back in the day you two, could. I think it was only like a handful of times, but approached two of them or three of them. And then one time I ordered online. Yeah. In Montana. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> How'd that go? Holy shit. This broad walked in. <laughs> Sorry. A lady, <laughs> but with horns. This chick was fucking crazy. Clearly a drug addict. Yeah. I mean, had all the symptoms and signs. Wasn't sober tracks. at the time looking for more drug money. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? She's, she's all over the fucking place. <laughs> and I was like, hey, um, I know I, I said I was going to pay, but I can't. You know, I'm not doing this. Like, so high that I couldn't, I couldn't perform. Yeah. 
I was like, I'll give you half. We're not doing this. <laughs> I'll give you half just to get the fuck get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And she gave me a trouble. And I was like, you got to go. Because, like, I'm in Montana, dude. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what her pimp guns. looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, 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 don't want, I don't want any of that heat. So I just gave her more money than she deserved. And I was like, no. And that was the last time. I was yeah. like, what am I doing? Yeah, it can get scary out there. Imagine if that's how my fucking life ended. Like, $200 for a fucking a meth head old lady in fucking Montana. How old? Oh, she was old. I would, too? I would estimate fifty. Yeah, and the meth probably made her look <clears throat> a little seventy-five. She, <laughs> she, looked like a, she looked like a catcher's mitt. <laughs> <laughs> Did she have her teeth? Uh, some of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah some yeah. of here, some of there. Like <laughs> the the '90s people were just doing meth because they're like, I didn't know how bad it was for you. Have you ever dabbled with that? No. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Because I would love it. Have you ever? I'm an upper dude. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I love uppers. Yeah. Yeah, right. even Adderall, I'm like, this is fun, but like, I know what real Coke tastes like. Yeah. I had like a Coke guy in the 90s. Not 90s, I'm sorry, in Philly. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> I was in high school. <laughs> in the 90s. No, but I had like a guy, like the guy was fucking insane. I had a full-time job, so I didn't start comedy until I was like 29. I was yeah. like 30 years old or whatever in 09. And uh, I had like a regular job and all my buddies, I walked into this bar that was, that was uh, called the Public House in Philly. And it was like the hottest bar slash club in the weekends. Everybody wanted to get into it. And I found out a kid I went to college with, uh, different major, became the manager. So he'd get me in and I was like, this place is insane. The women Beautiful. I was pulling, oh my God, insane. He's like, would you ever want to like bartend? And I was like, yeah. Just for like the social environment. Yeah. I didn't need the money, but I was like, I see what's going on here. I can fucking coat closets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Get the, everything is wonderful in that situation. That was my introduction to like real cocaine. This guy had a, a connect and I had to go through like three months of contact with this guy, knowing he was like the man. Finally met up with him. He would have high rise, in Philly, high rise um, apartment complexes that were almost offices where he'd meet you and you would never know which uh, place to go. <clears throat> he would pay off the doorman. So he'd be like, uh, he, he'd be like, text me when you get to the elevator. I'll let you know what floor I'm on. So you walk past the door, man, which is impossible. I don't know if he described me to the guy because it was a new place all the time. He, he texts me like 17. I hit 17, walk out the elevators, and you hear a whistle. It'd be one of the exits. And then I go to the exit, we'd exchange, and he'd give me, what do you call fish scale? Yeah. Right? Where it's like wet and sparkly. Okay. Like right off the fucking brick. <clears throat> the good stuff. You'd have to chop it up and let it dry. So if you're like fiending, it's hard to do. Like, I want to try this so fucking bad. Just let it air dry. And that shit was like uh, mind boggling. Like what it would do to you. Like one small, whatever you think you how could much do. How were you buying? Huh? You, he only dealt with 200 to not. Right. That's how you know and it's a good drug dealer. I had a drug dealer in Portland who only you had to buy $200 worth. And yeah. it was like the best Molly I've ever had because in my entire life. Because people that would sell them out won't have that money. Yeah. They're not going to, they're looking for 10 bags, five bags, 20 bags. Yeah. They're not going to accumulate $200 because they don't have the time. They need to, to fix for something. They'd rather have fucking skank. <laughs> and he wouldn't even be, it wouldn't be $200 worth of weight. He would say, this is just straight Coke. This is what would be in $400 of, of Coke with weight. Mm -hmm. I'm just letting you know now. If you put this on a scale, it's not $200 worth in terms of grams. But I'm not putting all that, that filler in because it's bad for you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, give me it. Yeah. <laughs> so I would go up and down, up and down, up and down. <clears throat> I went to New York in 2013, I think. And lar largest drug bust in Philadelphia history. With him? Well, there was a, in the, in the paper, I only knew his name as something. <laughs> and it was the beginning of one of the big names because I knew he was like he pushed weight yeah so no more calls because he used to give me like all this like a plus one you know he would just let you know when he's got a new fucking shipment oh damn and that's when I was like yo you think you're having a good time being a bartender but you're buying off fucking kingpins yeah but the thing about co I don't know about you guys I can never get hard when I'm on coke or no it took me a while to stop getting hard what so for example all right what I do I was lying be like fuck I'm rock hard yes really so for a while for a while I'm just I'm, bartending I'm, with a huge <laughs> <laughs> no I couldn't do it bartending because I was I get so horny 
Yeah, oh, I was yeah. ravenous. <laughs> well, that's happening. We're the hard on. I would, uh, dude. I would leave if I if I did a line while working as a bartender. I'd pretend I have to go take a shit and jerk off. Yeah, of course. I couldn't. I could never do that. I don't trust people who've never jerked off at work. But uh, I, yeah, 100. You, you have. You have to. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, you're I, a like waiter. <laughs> well, but I mean, you're drinking <laughs> the bathroom. Calm down. But uh, well, I used to. You're when actually whenever food. I take you beat off here. here. You beat off at the Cree? No. Yes, you did. You pig. I would, uh, have you seen the? Bathrooms is a fucking That's glory why I'm hole, asking. dude. It's gross. Um, whenever I got I take Adderall now, it makes me so crazy horny that it's like it's actually uh, it's unproductive. Yeah, it's it's like insane. One time I took Adderall, I hooked up with four guys in one day. Yeah, and I was like, this is sick. Yeah, well, cocaine like, has the additives. Just like sucking them off, not like having sex. Obviously. Okay, let's make, yeah, yeah, that's what I was wondering. It's like, do you do you swallowed four loads? No, it's not to say that. <laughs> is that what you do? You swallow everything? No, not anymore. I used to. Everybody. No, only if they're hot. Is that like an extra charge? No, I do it. Honey, you know what's crazy for me? I do it for the love of the game. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get my my jersey in the way after. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so they have to be hot. now they have to be hot for me to swallow their load. <laughs> You're aging. You're growing up. Yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. funny. I don't, so I don't listens... swallow the ugly loads anymore. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Somebody listened to the podcast goes like, "Oh, he spit mine out." <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't even like let them come in my mouth if I'm gonna spit it out. I'll just like make them fucking bust somewhere else. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the rules. He has a bunch of rules I don't know about. Who, which one uh, between you two? Which one's more of a flu's bag? Well, he doesn't do anal. Oh, does that make you? Is I that like a flu's bag? No, I like that. You're a real pig. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's a gentleman. Yeah, yeah. I'm just jerking doing. I'm, sa I'm, I'm just yeah. waiting. You're saving for, your ass for your for marriage. Yeah. Really? Do you want to get married? I would get married. I, it's not like on the. It's not like something I dream about. Um, I would do it if like I was dating someone and I really, like was really in love with them and they're like it's really important to me. Do you find is as it's uh, this is my con not. It's more of a question. So yeah, I'm straight, a straight, straight. <laughs> and I did like it. Yeah, straight guy. <laughs> Good for you. Also, straight people have like they have the family dream because it's in, it's inbred, right? It's, it's forced. Yeah, it is a lot of it. Yeah. but it's forced into your system. You, when you get married, when you having kids, when you go to college, all that shit is a system. Yeah. So you're constantly thinking about it, even if you're not, especially as a woman. And then they they have the age thing where they have to have babies before 40, so it's constant pressure to find someone that they're not connected with. Mm -hmm. Do you find that's a better scenario because you don't have the any pressure? The best pressures? part about being gay, other than the benefits. Sex, benefits, is that the freedom to be able to do whatever you want with your life. Yeah. And you're free from a lot of different things that straight men aren't free from. Like you, you're allowed to be an artist and, and, and do different things and pursue alter, like different types of routes in life that yeah. like if you were straight, they would be like, what are you doing? Like you have to get a real job, blah, blah, blah. Because Dude. you're gay, people like don't expect much from you. Yeah. It, they, <laughs> they don't. They, or especially for a really long time, like you, and you don't have to be masculine or you can be really whatever you want. That is the best part about being gay. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. At somewhere in high school you go like oh my parents are wrong about this one thing and they go oh they're probably wrong about everything yeah and so then you go like what what do i want them to be right with and they're like what do i want and then for a long time you're life. scared about being gay and then once you accept it you go i have a superpower i get to move to new york city yeah <laughs> you know what i mean like you're like yeah. oh i can do whatever i want yeah yeah it's the best i was talked out of art school were you? I got accepted to art schools, yeah. Oh, like Hitler. Yeah, like just like Hitler. Wait, so what happened? Why? My dad was like nine. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your dad was like, he's, I'm not going to have a gay son. Yeah. Yeah. But no, not, well, essentially, this was 1998. So graphic artists weren't uh, developed yet technologically. Yeah. Um, so you couldn't, you couldn't, uh, it was either painting, drawing, or boardwalk painting. You know, in my dad's mind, he's like, you're not going to be a fucking legendary artist. Yeah. What are the odds of that? You're going to be poor forever. And I beat the shit out of you so you could be tent in your high school and play sports. Yeah. So they can, I could be better than them. So he's like, you're not going to, you're, you're going to school for engineering. And that's what you did? And that's what I did for a while. And then I ended up to doing this. It's amazing. Yeah. I, it's, would, I could never imagine like letting my dad make a life decision. For I me. know. That's the thing. Well, once it's old school though. Yeah. Nowadays, you could. There's so many other alternatives to make money and like do things in fields that you might pursue. Like, could have went to art school, but then there, like there's like a safety net where my parents would be like, "Oh, you can still make a living doing this and that." Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Still creative, but there's so many other creative arts these days. Yeah, mm -hmm. but now I th I also do think when you have to sit down with your dad and look him in the eye and be like, "I <clears throat> want to fuck man." <laughs> Yeah. You kind of can do whatever you want after that. You know what I mean? It's kind of yeah. like, yeah, yeah. he's like school. He's like, please yeah. just don't get fucking HIV. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, 
<laughs> Dude, I had an HIV test. The uh... <laughs> So one of the first hookers I ever fucked, my condom broke, and I had to get an HIV test. Uh, very and hard it was to the get week. HIV like that. What? It said very hard to get HIV as a child. I know, but you didn't know. Young and dumb. Yeah. I was panicked. Yeah. I learned a lot yeah. about how to <laughs> properly get. I know enough. Now. <laughs> <laughs> After experience in the booth. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Do. It needs to be from the man <laughs> yeah, to yeah, the yeah. ass. There needs to be an open wound. Yeah, he has to be infected. I got it all. Yeah. <laughs> it's very difficult for a woman. Yeah. Yeah, unless I'm already infected. <laughs> Shut up, Tom. Uh, <laughs> but I had one Philly's Funniest that, like, previous month. Oh, that, that, and my face was on the magazine for, like, Philadelphia Magazine. That Like, <laughs> in the waiting area, we just grab a mag and wait. <laughs> I'm only three years in. Like to doing comedy, and I'm getting an AIDS test from a broken condom from a hooker, and I'm on the fucking counter. That's comedy. <laughs> yeah, that's comedy. Yeah. That's how you yeah. made it. Yeah. You made yeah. the right decision. Absolutely. What do you do? Be an engineer, you yeah. idiot. Yeah. That's more embarrassing. If you're an engineer going to get an HIV test, yeah. it's like, yeah, you're a loser. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what else are you? There, we're supposed yeah. to be degenerates. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Did anyone say, like, is this you? No. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> I was wearing a top hat and a mustache. <laughs> Standing That's not me, a, baby. Standing on a kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, we only have two segments on the show. Okay. And the first segment is pretty famous. Uh huh. Um, it's. Do, do you, you have, have any questions, questions for us? us? I just buried you with questions. Yeah, but that yeah. was part of the segment. That's not, that wasn't the segment. Oh, I would have saved them. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay if not. No more. You ran out. No, it's just a lot of pressure. Oh, okay. yeah. We yeah. do find that people feel pressured after we ask that. Yeah. Would it help if we don't look at you? No. I'm not as scared of you. <laughs> I almost said the F word. Say it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like I, have I'm you guys like, ever hooked up? No. No. Whoa. Zero. No. Zero Are you guys interest. attracted to each other? No. Zero. Zero. I've actually never, we say that all the time. But I'm like, there's like, it has people ask that question all the time. We straight, have such, straight guys think like everyone. Yeah. You're in the bin. There's you know? just no, I was thinking about the other day because we were just in Denver together and I was like, it's so great that there's like literally zero sexual Isn't that tension nice? and we just get to work together and be friends. Yeah. This is the it's equivalence great. of, because I do think in men and women that are straight, there are possibilities of friendships where it's like, no, it's platonic. I have zero interest in this woman i know she doesn't have anything in me but the odds are uh, your other loved one is like they're waiting in the fucking darkness. well also it's not even that they're waiting but it's like a lot of times in straight relationships i do feel like it, it's not even that like oh i would definitely want to but if the option was open you would yeah and so i think that's the difference like, right cool thing could be like bare ass in this thing and be like here's my hole i'd be yeah. like okay get it together pig. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's not gonna happen. yeah tommy's gonna be here in 10 yeah, minutes yeah, like, <laughs> not happening yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just i think you pretty, first i'd be like <clears> does Jimmy sometimes fuck Colton. Yeah. <laughs> um, he doesn't. Is there anything you've ever wanted? Do, do you have gay friends? Yeah, I got a couple gay friends. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, mostly in New York. Yeah. I don't have any gay friends here yet. Yeah. Just got here like six months ago. And I've only been here for like four months. Okay. Either I gotta, way, I got a hunt. I got a hunt for a gay. <laughs> yeah, you did. I feel like that's what that's what chunky white girls do. In their twenties, they all they all have to find like a, a gay it's... friend and exploit them. Yeah, well, you know, we're really taking the power back. We're not their little dogs anymore. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> Let's it's, it's over for the girls. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Jesse's not, not a fucking side character anymore. Let's okay? go. We're playing main character Let's only. <laughs> Sorry, bitch. Shut your mouth. Yeah, yeah, get a chihuahua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not going to be me. It's yeah, not, not going to be brunch me. no more. Yeah. Um, I actually have found that as I get older, I, I keep acquiring more. I have enough girls. I really, you know, if I, I can't take on any more female friends. I have like too many. Um, and but male straight male friends have been such a dream in my later life because you don't have to really dig into anything. Yeah. It's so nice to just like have fun. You don't have to know what's going on in their life. And then yeah, every once in a while they have like a complete mental breakdown where you have to kind of console them. But other than that, it's been great. Yeah. How many straight friends do you have? A lot. Do you? A lot of guy friends. That's great. Yeah. yeah. I'll be your friend. Yeah, you want to be friends? I'll be friends. A I'm a girl. Well, you have a girlfriend, but I we also I'm a great <laughs> wingman. Oh, don't say it like that. Yeah. What do the girls look like? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I'm not that no, I always I, my joke is I always am like with with like I'll have a straight male friend who'll be like out talking to girls or whatever and they'll be like, be honest. 
what's he like? Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, he's literally the best guy I've ever met. Yeah. Well, he's cheated on every single one of his yeah. girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> you figure it out, huh? Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. like, yeah, go for it. He's great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. Not me. I usually am like, we well, should see his house. Yeah, cool. yeah. he only likes rich guys. Really? Good for you. Oh, this is so crazy. No, no, good for you. Oh. You do fuck. Uh, okay, now we're getting the questions. Well, I fuck. I, you don't What's have to have. Mu- are you 65. looking for like sugar daddies type shit? I would. I would. I am married, but I I'll take You're on a married? second one. Yeah, I'll take on a second one. You guys just have open marriage. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Would you have a closed marriage if you were married? I do always say that I'm looking for love in a way that's kind of like. Angelina Doesn't Jolie do that. has like blood, him, her and Billy Bob Thornton, like absolutely obsessed with each other. Right. But could be open later on, but I would definitely, if I was going to do that, need like a period of time where it's like just us. Right. So you and your husband are best friends. You would have to say that, mm-hmm. right? I would have to say that, yeah. He's being recorded. So it's not, it's not good. <laughs> it's good. He, I mean, I, I know I do love my husband. It's great. I don't, why did you say that? No, wait. <laughs> why do you <laughs> say, what's happening? Because. If you got married, uh-huh. but you still have an open relationship, why'd you get married? Uh, the official document was because it is tax beneficial to also, be married. Also, cut that. His, <laughs> his That's husband... more damaging than anything. <laughs> his husband doesn't doesn't live say here. disparaging wait, wait, wait. about your that, husband. That is the why we involved the the government. Yes, but of we course. also very much like have been through some shit, and we're like, if we can get through that. We can get through anything right. and like, sure, different, it might be easier to be married on, on one season of our life than another, but like, yeah. we do plan to die with the, with each other. That's great. He it's doesn't beautiful. live here though. He lives in Minneapolis. So oh, that's okay. why I think for the majority of the It's reason, more open now than it was. Yeah. Right. Which is pretty cool. Does he plan on coming here? Well, I'm not going there. Yeah, um, I mean it's many hours. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I'm not. I'm not going there. But he has to work at his job for 18 months before he can transfer. Oh, is he uh, foreign? Oh no, sorry. I thought you he's said American? a farm. Uh, yes, he's American. Oh, okay, he's from Louisiana. He does a uh, sales rep for a big pharma company. Okay. Yeah. Well, we only have one segment left. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Greg, I gotta is... get my hair cut. I gotta piss. Okay, you don't yell at us. Um... See, that wasn't yelling. <laughs> yeah, this is my girl says. Yeah. I'll say it. I'll it's say it. it's assert- an East Coast thing. You get animated. Yeah, it's my my eyes dance. It's your eyebrows. Yeah. Um, if you were a gay man, yeah. would you rather have sex with me or Colton? I don't know. Yeah. It's a great question. Thank you. It's a structurally. Beautiful. I'm attracted to his <laughs> his nose. Okay. I, Specific. From my hometown, and also, you, you're attracted to what you look like more. I like his eyes. I like the shape of your eyes. I like your fucking Roman nose. Okay. Your teeth are delicious. <laughs> but this this is a guy I'd marry. You I'd abuse <laughs> in a holiday inn. <laughs> the cl- yeah. The classic answer. The classic answer. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Him I think I could be boys with. Right. You I could be friends with. You know I understand. No, well, we do. No, yeah. this is the typical answer. Is everyone uh, always goes? I want to fuck the shit out of Colton because he's hot. And Dylan, I, I could see myself living with you. Go, no, okay. you're both hot. I think you're both attractive. Right, but my but personality. Like the, there's a vibe more of. He's got more of an East Coast. Uh, Massachusetts. You're yeah, like yeah, a Midwest, yeah. Coloradan no. type of. Well, that's a good guess. That's why I went to high school. There you go. And you know, we've actually already kissed. Who? Me and you. Are uh, we dead? Yeah. Is that why I woke up like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, one time I was sitting at the at, at Mitzi's and you walked up and I think you were very drunk and you came over and kissed me and I was like, okay. on the cheek? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, very yeah. close. I go, I don't even know this man. Yeah. <laughs> I probably, I probably kissed all my friends and I was like, you get one. <laughs> yeah, Everybody's <laughs> getting one. <laughs> I'm like, I actually was the only one at the bar. But, yeah. um, <laughs> And I'm just kissing empty seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mezcal, baby. Yeah. That's what the mezcal does. Um, do you want to plug anything? Yeah, Stuff Island is my podcast. Very funny. Uh, Tire season two is coming out soon. Um, just go to Tommy J Pope on Instagram. Love it. Thank Great. you for the podcast. Follow me yeah. at Dylan P Carlino. Colin Dowling. Jimmy Clifford. Like and leave a comment, guys. We love you. Bye. So um, this is bad. 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 Yeah. to drag out horse. No.